Picture this, an animal that can navigate thousands of kilometers without a map and transform its body multiple times throughout its life. Sounds like something I just made up, right? But the European eel, or Anguilla anguilla, is very real and incredibly mysterious. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. This is an eel. It's a type of fish belonging to the order Anguilli forms, which includes over 800 different species. From the terrifying moray eel to the tiny garden eel, these slippery critters come in all shapes and sizes. One notable member of this group is the Anguilla anguilla, commonly known as the silver eel or European eel. You can tell it's European by this beret. For centuries, the Anguilla anguilla has baffled scientists. Despite our best efforts, their complete life cycle remains one of the greatest unsolved puzzles in marine biology. They're born in the mysterious depths of the Sargasso Sea, inside the Bermuda Triangle, thousands of miles away from where they spend most of their lives. This patch of the Atlantic Ocean is the birthplace of all European and American eels. Some eels might even reside in landlocked parts of Europe. Yet we believe they embark on an extraordinary journey, traveling thousands of kilometers across both land and sea to reach the Sargasso Sea for spawning. That's like swimming from New York past Los Angeles. Oh, and remember how I said both land and sea? All eels need is a bit of dampness on the ground to travel over land. Some can even climb up the walls of dams. I'm not saying a bad word. Some eels can just crawl up the walls of dams, like this. These shapeshifters don't just change once or twice. They morph four times during their incredible journey. It all starts with fertile eggs, which hatch into transparent larvae called leptocephali. These larvae hitch a ride on ocean currents back to the coast of Europe, eventually turning into glass eels. When scientists first encountered these ghostly little creatures, they thought they were a completely different species. But surprise, they were just baby anguilla anguilla. The glass eel phase can last a few years. Then they transform again, entering the third phase known as elvers. This is kind of like their teenage years. Next comes the yellow eel stage, which is the longest part of their life cycle, stretching anywhere from five to 20 years. And finally, they reach the silver eel stage. Here's where it gets really intriguing. The reproductive habits of eels remain largely a mystery to scientists. No one has ever spotted an eel egg or a pregnant eel in the wild. Scientists do know that when eels finally make the decision to spawn, they do something mind-blowing. They dissolve their own stomachs at the same time as they develop reproductive organs for the first time in their lives. And yes, you heard that right. They dissolve their stomachs. As they embark on a jaw-dropping journey of thousands of kilometers, these slippery critters are literally devouring themselves from the inside out. It's like something straight out of a horror movie, but it's 100% real. So while humans would just retire and move to Florida, these mature eels spawn and die. It's a little dramatic, don't you think? For hundreds of years, researchers dissected eels to try to figure out how they made more eels and were stumped because of the lack of reproductive organs. Turns out, there weren't any to find. Yet, that is. And since the eels are so far away from humans when the organs develop, scientists never had a chance to solve the puzzle. Wait, so how do we know any of this? If eels are so elusive, how do eels know to return to the same breeding grounds as their parents without any guidance? It's like they have a secret eel GPS. Okay, let's rewind a bit. In the early 20th century, biologist Johannes Schmidt traced their breeding grounds to the Bermuda Triangle by finding younger and younger eels across the Atlantic and Mediterranean, but he couldn't pinpoint their exact location within the triangle. Despite Schmidt's groundbreaking discovery nearly a century ago, direct evidence of eels spawning in the Sargasso Sea remained elusive. Efforts to track eels with modern technology often resulted in the eels mysteriously disappearing before reaching their destination. The eels like their privacy, and I get it. But in 2022, researchers finally tracked European eels all the way to the Sargasso Sea. 
Researchers attached satellite tags to 26 eels from rivers in the Azores archipelago, tracking them for periods ranging from 40 to 366 days at speeds between 3 to 12 kilometers per day. At those slow swimming speeds, the trek from Europe to the Sargasso Sea probably takes 18 months or more. This study provided the first direct evidence of adult European eels reaching their presumed breeding grounds in the Sargasso Sea, which was a big step towards definitively understanding what happens once they get there. So where do we stand now? Despite the eel's ability to reproduce in secrecy, they remain endangered, facing significant threats to their survival. European eels are listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, highlighting the urgent need for aid. Scientists and conservationists are working diligently to help them by implementing habitat restoration projects, regulating fisheries, and adjusting hydroelectric turbine schedules to minimize harm during migration. These measures have led to some positive signs of recovery, but ongoing efforts and vigilance are essential to ensure the species' continued survival and recovery. So remember, eels may look like just another fish, but they're full of surprises. From their epic journeys to their mysterious life cycles, eels are the true rock stars of the aquatic world. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.